Okay, I've had a little accident with the tarantula quad here. Um, this leg's basically broken off, as you can see. I've never really liked the design of them. Uh, I think they're far too long. And um, though I suspect it's part of the design to make it look like a tarantula, it's not really something I'm a big fan of, as I say. Um, I have just realised that if I don't break things, I've hardly got any videos to make, so uh, perhaps that's why I break things. It might be my excuse anyway. So what I'm going to do is modify the prop guards that come with the tarantula so that I can use them as low landing skids and get rid of this bulky flimsy bit that's out here that I've never really liked. So let's get started. So first things first, I'm going to take off these redundant and broken legs that come with the tarantula. Next I'm going to just put the quad to the side. I'm going to put a cutting board down so we don't damage the table. So I'll just show you exactly what I intend doing. I've got the main body of the quad here, I've got the LED cover and then we've got the actual prop guard itself. I'm going to pop that into position like so and then you can see we've got a natural sort of ski point here so I want to cut it through at this point just there and if we find that's still a little bit high, we've got another point here we could cut off and use this as a ski point. So uh, as a landing skid, these, both of these are going to be brilliant, I think. There is and quite a little bit of flexibility in there as well, I think, at this point. So I'm going to do this one first. We can always come back to this one if we need to. And this is what we're going to use. What I suggest you do is have a play with some different tools to see how you get on with each one. It's quite an easy material to cut, so you've got various options you can do it with. You could use just an ordinary uh, Stanley knife if you like, or a craft knife. It's quite easy to cut through. That's why I put this table down, and you get quite a good finish with it, because that's what I'm after. I want it to look reasonable at the end of the day. It does cut fine with a junior hacksaw, but again, it's pretty good. Wouldn't be my choice, I must admit. But it's got to be something that you're comfortable with. Obviously a craft knife, or a Stanley knife as we call them, uh, could you know slip and do serious damage. You're pretty much not going to do an awful lot with a junior hacksaw, to be honest. Or another method, and being a boy, of course, this would be the preferred one, is try to use a power tool. Um, this is just like a, a Dremel, it's just a, a copy of them basically. I've got, uh, it's a diamond bit that I've got in here, and I've actually had a play with this, and I, I think this is about the best really for cutting pr plastics. I've done it a few times with different ones. I set it up on maximum speed, but you'll have to try and see what you get on with best. I find it gives the best finish. And let me just show you what it does. It will give you a reasonable finish. Obviously, just take your time doing it. So, my preferred tool uh, to give it the first go will be with this. Okay. So, what we have to do now is just assemble the LED cover into our new modified leg, pop it onto there, there we go, making sure you've got your LED covers on the right ones, and there we have it. And as you can see, it sits pretty well, I think that's going to work really well. <laughs> 